While most people are very eager to get the vaccine, others have concerns about the safety. And we wanted to take a closer look at those concerns tonight. Andrea Flores is reporting on the efforts in the community to calm people's fears. Alan Janae begins our coverage. Alan, you know, a question we're hearing more and more often is whether people with allergies should get vaccinated. Well, this is after severe reactions among two people in Great Britain and one in Alaska. Now, tomorrow, there will be under watchful eyes more vaccinations for frontline health care workers at places like Denver Health here as experts try and figure things out. More vaccine deliveries arriving, these at Denver Health Medical Center, and right along with it, concern about rapidly approved vaccines. You have allergies, right? I do. Tom Day already gets shots, including those for his allergies, and he's been asking his doctor if this will be the right thing. And I asked him what his opinion was on, you know, the vaccines and, you know, how reliable did he think they would be? We're getting a lot of phone calls. Dr. Shayla Gogate is medical director for Colorado Allergy and Asthma Centers. There's no certainty about the source of the allergic reactions, but like in any incident, there are already suspects, polyethylene glycol and polysorbate. Some people are allergic to them. Those are not common allergies. They are not common allergies, but they're not undescribed. The reactions are not anything that should stop anyone from getting the vaccine, she believes. I am not telling any of my patients not to get it. It does need to be given in a supervised setting. We do the best we can. Tom Day, who has a background in science himself, notes all people are different. He'll get the vaccine. There's risk in everything that we do. I think it's important to get as back to as close to normal as we can, as soon as we can as a society. Dr. Gogate has a simple conclusion. People are dying from COVID. People are not dying from the vaccine. Now that healthcare worker in Alaska is almost completely better already. Now if, and it's a big if, polyethylene glycol and polysorbate are problems, it could mean an adjustment in recommendations for people with allergies in the United States, but that hasn't happened yet. Both of them are ingredients we already put into our bodies in other things. One of them used as a laxative, the other one as a stabilizer, and yes, also used in other vaccines. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.